Hi, today I want to talk about a special indicator that not many people know about. It is called the Guppy Multiple Moving Average, the GMMA, which is developed by an Australian financial columnist and the author of investment books, Daryl Guppy. GMMA is an indicator used in technical analysis to identify changing trends. The technique consists of combining two groups of moving averages with different time periods. The two sets of moving averages that represent two groups of investors, namely the short-term traders and the long-term investors. The short-term speculative traders are represented by a group of moving averages that has a relatively short time frame. The number of days used are 3, 5, 8, 10, 12, and 15. While the long-term investors are represented by longer time period moving averages and they are the 30 days, 35, 40, 45, 50, and 60 days. Now let's take a look at this chart. The red lines represent the short-term speculative traders, while the green lines represent the long-term investors. In this chart, we look at the behavior of the long-term investors first. As you can see at the left-hand side, the green lines are expanding. Expanding lines means the underlying trend is gathering momentum. It could be a bull trend or it could be a bear trend depending on the direction of the lines. If the lines are facing up and expanding, it means the bulls are gathering momentum. If the lines are facing down with expansion, it means the bears are gathering momentum. Since we are focusing on the long-term investors first, we look at the green lines only. The expanding green lines shows that the long-term investors are bullish during that period. Next, we look at the center of the chart where the green lines are converging. Guppy does not use the word converging. We call it the compression. In general, when you see compressing lines, it means the underlying trend is weakening and there could be a trend reversal coming soon. Whether it's short term or for long term trend reversals depends on which color lines are compressing. In this case, the green lines are compressing which means that there could be possible long-term trend reversals during that period. Let me elaborate further. The green lines are made up of a group of longer days moving averages, which represent the behavior of the long-term investors. The first line on the top is the 30-day moving average, and the last line at the bottom is the 60-day moving average. When these lines are moving parallel to each other, it means that the underlying trend is proceeding in a steady manner. However, when you see the lines are expanding away from each other, it means the underlying trend is strong. It could be overbought or it could be oversold, depending on which direction the lines are facing. In this case, the green lines are facing up with some expansion in the lines. It means during that period, the long-term investors were quite bullish about that underlying security. Next, we look at the compression lines. Again, we focus on the green lines first. Once you understand the principles behind the green lines, we can use that to apply onto the red lines for the short-term traders. In Gabi's words, compression means agreement in price. When the lines are converging, the shorter days moving averages are moving towards the longer days moving averages. This shows that the shorter term investors are agreeing on the current price and value with the longer term investors. In this case, the shorter days moving averages like 30 and 35 days are running ahead of the longer days moving averages during an uptrend. As the price is getting overbought, the shorter days moving averages will start to lose momentum and to take profits. As more and more of these people take profits, the shorter days moving averages will start to turn down to cross the longer days moving averages. As the shorter days moving averages are converging with the longer days, they are admitting that they were ahead of the price before and now they agree with the longer term investors that the price should not be so high. Hence, the underlying trend will become weak. As soon as you can see the 30 day moving averages crosses all the lines in a downward manner like the one showing in this chart, it may signal possible long term trend reversal from a bullish trend to a bearish trend. Next, we apply the same principles to the short-term traders. They are represented by a group of shorter-term moving averages in red. The shortest day is 
three day and the longest day is 15. When the lines are expanding, it means the short-term investors are very bullish about the underlying securities. And when the red lines are converging or compressing, it means the underlying trend is weak and there could be possible short-term trend reversal. And now, let's combine these two groups of moving averages together and analyze the next chart. In this chart, both short-term red lines and long-term green lines are converging from January till March. This is a strong signal indicating that a major trend reversal for both short-term and long-term is underway. When both groups of these lines started to turn up, we need confirmations. The earliest confirmation is through volume, which has clearly risen, then followed by the crossing of the 200-day moving average, which indicates long-term trend reversal. And if you are still skeptical, you may wait for the next confirmation, whereby the short-term lines are bouncing off from the long-term lines. This shows that the underlying security has strong support from the long-term investors and that the green lines are expanding parallelly. The red lines compressing and bouncing off from the green lines means that the speculators are doing their normal profit taking and that the long term trend is still intact. Now let's get back to this chart again and analyze it with two groups of lines. As you can see the green lines are compressing but it did not expand downwardly in expanding lines which indicates long term investors are still holding well. However, there was a short-term trend reversal in August with red lines facing downward with expanding lines. If you are a long-term investor, by looking at this chart, it gives you information that the long-term trend is still intact and that you should hold on to your stocks first. The GMMA is designed to understand the nature of trend activity. It gives you information on the behavior of the short-term traders and the long-term investors. It is, however, note that, like any other moving averages, if there is no trend, this tool cannot be usefully applied. I hope you will find this YouTube video useful. Thanks for watching.